Greetings and welcome back to Shining Resonance Refrain. Now, before we do anything else, we have to see all these different outfits that are available for some. It's a must. Regular small suit, we saw that. Made a uh, school uniform. Let's see this. Cute, but there's some guys out there that love that kind of thing. Not one of them. I've never done one of them. Last episode we saw the maid in the regular swimsuit. Check out the idol out there. Ooh. I don't know, I'm kind of digging that outfit. I would really like it. Really hugs the chest and everything. Let's see what the new outfit looks like. It's the only outfit he gives me. <laughs> Trade Superstar. <laughs> oh damn, that is actually one hip ass suit. That shit is fly as hell. He pulls it off. I actually rocked that for a little while. I like that outfit. Alright. We gotta look at them all. We gotta look at them all. Short jean shorts, but like in the outfit, it's not all we got. Nope, nope, we got more. Then, here in a little bit, we're gonna go check out the Just same thing without the jean shorts, basically. And then she even pulls it off, too. Oh, no. Stripes. So I can choose what I want to wear. Um, gold swimsuit, maid outfit. No, I don't really think the maid outfit actually looks that good. I like the idol outfit. I don't like the school uniform. I just eh, I like it. Armor, of course, love the armor. Gold swimsuit. Now, I'm gonna get a little bit of ruin here. These ones for Kirika. Oh my god, she looks great in those. Should we have her run around in either this blood red swimsuit or a gold swimsuit? Let's go with a gold. I'm gonna laugh my ass off if, if it just sticks through with the cutscene. I'm gonna laugh. Oh my god, oh my god, I can't take it seriously. <laughs> she see all her movements in the <laughs> Okay, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna like introduce her, we're gonna work my way into that kind of shit. Let's get her in the eye. That's a, that's very nice, I actually like that. You know what, nah, no, it's not fair. It's not fair, because if we're gonna have Kirika run around in a swimsuit, Sonya's gotta do it too. Each and every episode of this, I'm just gonna make it to where they're all running around in a certain outfit. <laughs> right there! Right there! Alright, here is the lovely, pretty Did Kirika. you need something? Selections and affection. Oh! Cool! Sometimes when you're conversing with your friends, a selection will choose it will, it will appear for you to choose how you will reply. Depending on your selection, the affection of your companions will, will change. You should think about their personality and behaviors when replying. Letting time run is also an option. The companion's affection changes during events with them as well as battles. Get closer to the characters you like. I'm getting them all. I'm getting them all.
My apologies. <laughs> in, uh, invite my for apologies. what? <laughs> is am I inviting her for a date or something? Is that what that button actually allows me to go with? Alright, let's see. Kirika's outfits. Swimsuit regular. Let's see what this looks like. Oh. Very cute. I like it. Let's see. What other ones we got? Uniform? Schoolgirl uniform? Sadly enough, she's cute enough to pull it off. Hey. <laughs> the shining me. <laughs> I'm gonna stay silent on that one. She pulls it off way better than Sonya. Idol. Let's see how the idol one. Extremely cute. All of, all of Valkyrie goes nothing but cuteness. Special. What a special. Let's see this. What's special? <laughs> Just another rookie bikini. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Swimsuit number two. Ooh, I like the pink. I really like the pink. The pink looks nice on her. Alright. What about number three? Just peach white. Okay. And yep, the next ones we have are these. These are the only other ones that I actually saw, so let's go with black ladies. One. I really like that. She actually really pulls that color scheme off very well. I think the number twos are the ones without the little frilly skirt around the waist. Yep, that's it in a nutshell. Let's see, Crimson I think is red, and I don't think she pulls off red as well. Oh, I don't know. You know, every outfit she's got, she pulls off. Sorry, Sonya, Kirika's, got, Kirika's the better fashion model. I'm not ashamed to be mean about it. I'm not ashamed to say it. Yeah, Kirika's got you beat. she got you beat. Although, she definitely wears them lifts. Holy shit. She wears them lifts something fierce. Oh, where do I want to go with? She's got such nice outfits here. We got the regular. We got Black Lotus 1 and Crimson Lotus 1. I like Did this one. Something? It's actually nicer. I'm gonna laugh. All right. if, this, if that actually stays through. <laughs> Please watch over us, your radiance. Okay? Yeah, sure. If you're gonna look like that the entire time, yeah, sure. I'll watch over you all day. <laughs> hey, we got a busty witch here. I'm bored. We're gonna save real quick. Now that we got all of that done and over with. We're gonna laugh at the outfit stay. <laughs> I do! <laughs> oh, that's what I was so hoping for. This a lot. So you better have the money though. This will let shell. How do I feel? I feel like she should be joining my party because she's got too good of a body not to. Travels the world as a merchant buying and selling items. You will need gold to buy items. Gold can be obtained by defeating monsters and selling items. Do we get extra costumes for her too? Not a bad person. You can buy a lot of useful stuff here. Do we get extra costumes for you too? Oh, nice. I'm bored. She got a nice body. Oh, damn. Damn, she wearing one of those outfits that got the whole back exposed. Damn. You play with that dangerous outfit. Yo, do we get costumes for her too? Yeah, 
Nope. Damn it, I was hoping like hell we did. Oh shit. Alright. Only can get so much freedom with, with, out with uh, costumes and everything. Alright, what do you even say? Welcome. Damn, I'm looking at that chest. You know what? You got a nice outfit. Take pick. Sexy woman. Oh, Margo Stone. Huh. This shit, like, okay, explain this one to me. This game got its own material system or some shit? That looks like its own material <laughs> system. Have a nice day. You sound so disappointed. How's it going? Like... <laughs> Fuck, kid, you have my size, literally. weapons to day-to-day -day supplies for instance Raffles workshop you can use materials at Raffles workshop to synthesize items and aspect pieces with item synthesis he will create potions and materials that will be useful on your journey with aspect synthesis he will create aspect pieces that will come in handy in battle as long as you bring me the materials I can make anything you need huh the tape I like it you can have this vital what the hell is this Aspect piece can give you an aspect and as well as you say it can make you powerful in all kinds of ways. Trust me. It's basically materia. This is fucking materia. <laughs> yep, no, she she knows that he's about ready to get into a fight. Basically, just a materia system. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm like incorrect here, like, correct, you're like tell me otherwise. But it's basically just a big fucking materia system. Item again. Aspects. Huh? Yeah, that's it. in a nutshell. This is basically materia. Oh, these things can actually level up. Oh, that explains a lot. Oh, she's got four, she's got four, he's got three. Since you're the support one, we're gonna give you the help. Plus, you got the key right Just a pinch of... oops. I, just, I can't keep it seriously, considering I have fucking Sonya running around. I'm gonna fucking do it. <laughs> 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 Oh, trying not to laugh, but I am. I, I just I can't keep a straight face. I really can't. Hello. Oh, that's Premula. She is adorable. Really? You don't look very bright. Really? You just want sassy little bitch, ain't you? You're still adorable. God, you could be a little bitch. I get the feeling you get that from your mother. Welcome back. There's someone here to see you. Uncle Burroughs, this is the boy I was talking about. Oh, that, I don't, oh yeah, no, uh, I don't think time. that's going to go well. You're Holy a dragon shit, boy, you then. big. The king filled me in. Call me Burroughs. How are you holding up? Well, I don't know what's more imposing. Your side, your, like, your size? I'm sorry, like, I'm really, I'm, I'm stuck on stupid here. Your size or your spiky-ass beard? 
Like, fuck, every bit of your hair looks like it could stab somebody. Hi. It's, uh, nice to meet you. Oh, forgive me, Yuma. I should have mentioned. This is Burroughs, captain of the Knights of Astoria and an old family friend. Oh my god, I can't keep a straight face. Captain, if you're making a visit to the Seagull, that must mean you've got work for the Dragoneers, right? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I got fucking Sonya running around in a damn two-piece. I got right fucking are, Kirika lady. running around contract. in a fucking big Seems something big is out terrorizing folk beyond the walls. What, a monster? More than your knights can handle if you're asking for a Dragoneer to deal with it. Well, the Knights of Astoria... See, we've got our hands full with something else right now, so... I see. By all means, then, let's petition the Dragoneers! Hey, Sonia, there are other Dragoneers besides Kirika staying here, right? To be honest, I'm thinking I might keep Yuma in that outfit. He looks like a shit in that outfit. His hair mixes perfectly with it. Three of them, all told, yeah. <laughs> Kirika and two others all use the Seagull Inn as their base of operations. I, I can't, I can't keep a straight face with her in that outfit. The, I mean, you just see armor, good outfit, bikini. <laughs> and when the throne doesn't have official contracts to offer, they go around assisting the people of Marga instead. There's not a soul in Marga who can't tell you a story about a stout-hearted dragoneer. You can always rely on them. Astoria owes generations of peace and comfort to their protection. By playing their harmonics, they can channel special magic and perform feats far beyond other people. All to keep the peace, of course. You running around like that, I'm pretty sure, isn't helping keeping the peace of all the men in the damn city. Harmonics? Is that what you call those instrument weapon things Kirika and Excella were using? Mm-hmm. Long ago, the shining dragon inside you gifted them to the ancients so they could protect themselves. There are supposedly seven harmonic armaments in all, three of which are here in Astoria. The elves of Welland have another three. And the last one's in the care of that imperial princess. Welland? Oh, but isn't that Kirika's homeland? What's she doing fighting for Astoria instead? Well, it's official. I'm going to have seven fine-ass women in this game on my side then. Three from Astoria, three elves, aka three humans, three elves, and then the evil chick. Well, Astoria and Wellington relations are peaceful. The elves' ancestors lived here a long time ago, so we've been allies for generations. <laughs> Don't know why that At was any funny rate, to me. I should go and see about this something big. You stay here where it's safe, Yuma. Sorry if you hear like the static. My headset's been acting up again. Cause can't avoid accidentally breaking my stuff. So juggling three kids that are rambunctious happens to do that a lot. You're going all by yourself? <laughs> I can't just demand a Dragoneer's time without doing any scouting first, now can I? It's my duty to aid them in my father's place, you know. Be that as it may, my lady. Maybe take Yuma with you all the same, just to be safe. You aren't running around basically fucking naked. <laughs> Me? <laughs> don't worry, Captain Burroughs. It's just a scouting op. You don't have to be so protective. Uh. Emma, could you make Yuma some tea? I'll be back before it's cold. Ah, my lady, wait. And she's gone. <laughs> Emma, why didn't you stop her? Now I have to figure my plans out all over again. Plans? What in the world are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Yeah, I didn't say a thing. <clears throat> now, how to fix this? Hey, Yuma! Little coward! Are you letting the princess totter off into danger all on her own? Huh? B but she said she was just scouting, so... No excuses! Get after her right now, boy! Hop to! Wait, yep. why? Why do I have to do this? I'd do as he says, Your Radiance. Sir Burroughs is a very stubborn man. <laughs> Arguing will only make him grumpier. I, oh my god, I can't even I can't even help but laugh when it comes to that cute ass bikini she's wearing. <laughs> fine, fine, I'll go. I'm going. Allow me to accompany you, your radiance. If we hurry, we should be able to catch up before Sonya reaches the gates.
Very pretty lady. Okay, so they actually do have quest memos. Alright. Traits and bonds. Traits are the quirks and characteristics of each character. You can change them in the bond diagram menu. Characters next to each other on the bond diagram perform different bonds depending on the combination of their traits. The type of bond and its strength greatly affect the resonance that occurs during battles. Set up the traits the way you like and create your own bond diagram. Nice. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't. Oh my god! I can't. <laughs> I don't even know why that's so fucking funny to me. <laughs> oh, that's just hilarious. I don't know why. I can't. I don't know why. Oh my god. I'm not seeing anything because I'm just reading it. that she uses magic. Uh, she looks like some like that that kind of character that's a witch. Hey! What about you? What do you got? Welcome! What kind of a cutscene do you have? Well today I'm gonna need <laughs> Okay, Primula again. <laughs> it's a little bitching net between the two. Oh wow. Oh my god. You 
just get dragged into all kinds of shit, don't you? Developers did not hold anything back with this. Oh my god. Oh. oh. can't even comment on that. I didn't think that they'd literally just like just stomp Let's on that go. line. They crushed the shit out of that line. I'm not even ashamed of it. They just like shit all over that line. Oh, that's that was funnier than it should have been. I'm not gonna lie. Excuse me. <laughs> the hell is that? That's a tall building. The unreachable tower, huh? One day I will reach the unreachable tower. <laughs> Back to kids. <laughs> Oh, I just started to get a world map. Okay. Huh. Displays the next destination. Check when you're going to a new location. Please. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. So I'm sorry. This I'm, like the first like half of this entire playthrough, I'm gonna be laughing at this the entire time. Actions for a time, giving the player an advantage. Likely to happen to counter the enemy from behind without being. <laughs> oh 
Oh, that is how you lock on it. R2. No, I'm not trying to escape. So it is good to get that particular little tutorial out of the way. That helps a lot being able to lock on. Enemy approaching. Wow, that was like a Final Fantasy enemy. I like how the, the, the chibiness adds to like a whole nother level of cuteness. Okay. Are we gonna have anything else? Oh, I guess I just randomly say this stuff. Okay, so you combo like nobody.
All right. Enemy approaching. Come on. Abilities and force menu to use a combat. Switch screen to keep using the forces. Ooh, spark! What the hell is that? Since I keep pressing triangle. Paralyzes. Ooh, high break effect. Same, same. Nice. Oh, nice. This is. Spell. I want to keep that in mind. We've been spotted. Here we go. Keep your butt. Come on. Let's go. 
Thing where it's like all I gotta do is just use an ability and it'll just automatically just get supercharged or something. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Pardon my confusion. All right, we're gonna kill you. Circle and triangle. He also has a dash attack with X and a back step for square. Access with the shining dragon do not consume AP. Also, he strengthens the abilities of the dragon years of battle with him. Oh, that's nice. Oh, okay, so he has no limits. Mistakes were made, officially. Holy shit. Wow. I fucked up. Oh yeah, I fucked up hard on that. Don't let him go berserk. He one shots everything. Short of mana. Take this.
on that one. Wow, did I fuck up on that one. <sighs> Looks like the coast is clear. Looks that way. Thank you, Yuma. You were a big help. Let's go report back to Burroughs now, huh? There's no need to return to town. We can give our report right here, actually. <sighs> I've been made, eh? Captain Burroughs, what are you doing here? Begging your forgiveness, my lady. Killing monsters wasn't the only thing you were doing out here. I wanted to see Yuma and the Shining Dragon in a real fight, you understand. I see. That's why you were so adamant about this. Yep. Figured a monster sighting was as good a chance as I was gonna get. I suspected as much. Is Amir's Kirika's rack bigger than Sonya's? Captain Burroughs! Don't you think that's extremely unfair to Yuma? You tell him too, Kirika, how it's an affront to the Shining Dragon's honor or, or something. <laughs> that may be so, but his radiance has blessed us with his sublime presence, his holy splendor. I knew of Sir Burroughs' plan, but said nothing so that I might lay eyes on his radiance again. I'm not certain I have any place chastising the good captain for his actions. Lay eyes on... whatever, fine. Fine, we'll talk about it later. Let's just head back to the castle for now, okay? And I'll be sure to mention it to my father. How bravely you fought alongside us, Yuma. It's good to know. Yeah. Do not use the dragon's thing unless you have max man. Because I don't think I have a means of reviving that. particular ability <laughs> unless you have max MP. Cool. Thank God that revised. Welcome back.
Oh my god, I've been there. I've so been there. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you're definitely lucky. You're easily persuaded to buy shit. All, all to just poof. There you go. Just my my. You got it. Looking at the ears, are they actually mother and daughter biologically, or are they adoptive? Like when we get actually get, uh, get out of the inn, I want to take a better look. She's definitely got elven ears. You see that? Yeah, no, she's human. Be careful. Human was elven. Unless the father was elven, then this is an adoptive mother and child here. Nothing at all wrong with that. It's something I noticed. Good Hello, day. lovely Kirika. Just a pinch of. Oops. Welcome. Anything. What are we making? <laughs> I don't even want to know what's going on there. I see a woman with a frying pan talking to a man. I get the feeling somebody's about to get a bong right upside the head. Hey, three random kitty cats just chilling. Oh, 
Hello. Weather. Stella is a scholar who studies the weather. She observes cloud patterns and will tell you about areas where the weather has changed. Types of monsters and the items you can collect. What the fuck? Is that like is that a frog on a frog? The items you can collect will vary according to the weather. Try learning about the weather from her, you may discover something new. on your own wrong. again, Burroughs. I don't know what I'm going to do with you, old friend. Damn it. Doesn't matter, we're gonna have to find out in the next video. <sighs> Shit, and I hope like hell I saved. I think I did. Damn it. Alright, well, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, spread the word. Next video, we shall change the outfits on the lovely women. Freddy, until next time, bye-bye.